Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, uh, I have received a call uh, for one of my customers that uh, he is complaining about uh, water leak from uh, her furnace. So I'm going to go in there and check what's going on. So, so come with me. still waiting until this uh, water gonna come out I just want to make it sure it's coming from there so what I want to see right now is uh, wait until the water gonna come out again in this part this part and then I am going to open this and then from there I could see because there there's a pipe over here you see this pipe so this pipe is go straight all the way to the top and then that's what I'm waiting for. When that water gonna spray in here, because right now the house is uh, it's just stopped right now. The furnace is because uh, it reaches already the temperatures that we have in this house at 74 degrees Fahrenheit. So now this is supposed to be turning on very soon. I can turn it off this one and then put all these two together and then that one's gonna run. But I just want to make it sure first that it will run normal before I do that okay so I'm just waiting the water to come out this look like there's a drain in here so let's wait for a couple of minutes and let's see what's gonna happen we just uh, turn on the furnish I turn on the bulb because this is the unit see so the water goes straight in here and then go all the way on the top of this humidifier and then the water is gonna go down and the rest of the, the water is gonna drain from right here going to this okay and then the water gonna go down to the pump when this pump is full going to push the water all the way to the sink so as I see it right now there is a pad in here and it's look like the water coming out in here this humidifier just runs again and then uh, I'm going to open this to find out exactly where the water is okay so what I did I set up to uh, 50 right now so that this is gonna work so I can feel right now the water is flowing the power is running too but still I did not see the leak So there's another leak in here so this one is overflowing also it takes a while and then the water goes in there and drips to that area so as you can see right now this one the water is still up so i need to check this because this one is clogged i see the water is dripping very slow so you know what we're gonna do and fix the problem so we found another problem so this drain is clogged but, uh, so I need to get another uh, coupling and uh, elbow so right now as you can see this is empty now so this one is uh, the water is coming out and that one over there okay so good so this is what we're gonna do now Okay, so we're going to finalize this. And this is a 
See that dirt right there? Okay. Everything. I cut this part over here so that I can remove this area and then I remove this and then change this as you can see this one is different now I put elbow so that's gonna be a light so right now you will see it's a straight so everything okay so in short so we have problem with our uh, filter it's plug and then it's overflowing and at the same time in here it's overflowing also and it's because of this area we don't have enough uh, water coming out from there so when I flush it when I cut this part over here take it off this uh, I managed to remove the whole thing and then clean it so there's a lot of dirt in this area so everything is working fine now so uh, we try to run this one again and then uh, water is not coming out anymore and uh, I set it up to 30 Okay, that's fine right now. We don't have much now, so we're good. Here you go. This one needs to be replaced. Look at the color right now. So, look at the water all the way to the top. And the water is going to store it on the top, and then it's going to drip all over right here. So, when the blower push the air inside, so since this one has a moisture in every room, Okay, that's how it works. So I need to replace this one. There is the problem. So when the water go down, so it's not spreading the water somewhere. So, and it overflow. So this one is placed in here and the water gonna drain in there. So I need to get a new one for this one. Okay. I'm gonna buy some parts. I got the model. Here we go. So we're going to replace this uh, uh, pad. So I got this one from Home Depot. Actually, this is different model. But uh, what I did is I uh, just compare the size. As long as they have uh, the same size, it's okay. So this is a uh, Brian. As you can see, that is a Brian. And um, uh, this is uh, Honeywell. Okay. But, uh, as long as uh, they have the same or they're the same so you can uh, put it on so look at this it's very easy you just take pull this thing like this and then like this and then you can remove this now next time you could replace your <laughs> that's very easy okay so this one you have to replace every year look at how bad is this thing look this is the um you know the air that goes uh, into your duct system which is not good see that's mold that's dirty so look at the difference between the new one very clean so i have cleaned this one already so uh, you just put this one on see easy you have the same size you gotta check okay the same thickness so we just put place this one like this okay and then you have to check quick okay there's a metal in here well they are the same yeah i go this way all right so they're the same all right so just going to place this one like this okay now you have to lock it and then lock this it's ready to use look at this so now this one is cost like um, um I need to check to see how much is this just to make it sure. So that one is right here. Look at the price right here. This one's cost only for twelve dollars. As you can see, the mark of the water, the water just go on this direction only. So instead of spreading uh, six holes in here. You see that six holes so the water from the top is gonna spray in here and then it spread the water to each every hole in here and all of this area gonna get wet so when this water gonna soak this part over here 
the rest of the water is gonna drain and going out from you see this drain over here it's going down all the way to the pump and that pump will push the water going to the sink so right now as you can see this is ready and this is what happened i found out that the cause of the problem is this one the water go in here only oh no no sorry like this the water go in here in here, in here and then distribute this side and it's because of that the water all the water go in here straight it overflow the bottom part so it's leaking so that's the cause of the leak so it's ready so let's put this thing on okay first i need to turn off this to make it sure that it's not gonna run while i'm opening this part okay so this is off and the water is still off the valve in there because i turned it off this one a while ago so to take this off and place that pad or filter all you need to do just remove the lock right here on the bottom make it sure this one is not hang right here because this is hot later on so now there you go so this is how it works the water go in here uh actually this is the the solenoid this is the one that open and close the water go on the top right here see this one over here the water is gonna go on and the top of it is distributed in here so i'm going to place this one like this okay so do it on the top first and then make it sure this one is aligned to the hole so that then when the water go down it's ready to use now what we're gonna do we're gonna test this if this one is working or not so i can do it and uh, let's try okay i'm gonna leave this one oh, i need to put this back first just to make it sure because there is a switch in here so if this one is not on it's not gonna work so to test that okay so we're just going to hang this boom i hear the click that's ready so now we are going to turn it on all right now so that's ready so what we're gonna do we are going to turn on the bulbs right there let me show you the bulb okay this is the shot of bulb right here so you have to turn on this one counterclockwise all the way the water gonna go in here now we are going to test if that one is uh, working so we are going to set up this uh, okay, stat. okay this is what we call the humidistat the setting for this one okay, I'll go the other side. okay the setting for this one is supposed to be 30 to 50 a percent during winter okay and uh, during summer you have to turn off this one put it to zero and then close that valve over there so you can't leave this one open some of them is automatic you don't to worry but this one you do have to do it uh manually i think yeah you have to turn it off in here um but it depends on your thermostat also there's a, a adjustment that you could do so now so you have to put it to uh uh i could do 30 uh to 40 percent that's the setup that is supposed to so now you want to test this if it's okay you have to set up this one to the highest you see i hear now it's running now when this a motor is running it will open the water you will hear that water and i hope there's no more leak in here yeah it takes a while as you can see right now this one is running only this one because this one have a delay now it's working now so as soon as you turn up this, it's not gonna turn on right away. You have five to five to eight seconds delay before this one's gonna run. So now, but this time what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn that bulb all the way, just to make it sure that uh, that one's open. Okay, let me turn on all the way. I hear the water now. Okay. So I hope you hear the water right now and that water is distributing right now and let's see if that was leak again okay okay so sold na. yeah everything is done so 
uh, we solved the problem so we have problem from the filter it's leaking also and it's because of that water in here just drip a little and then the water in here from this point and this area over here from the pit trap there's a lot of dirt so we pick you know i i i used the faucet to clean up all of that area so now it's clean so thank you for watching i'll see you on my next video